السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم We are, we, we are back الحمد لله together We reunited once more in uh, Hong Kong City الحمد لله رب العالمين And this we is have, by the way السلام عليكم We have just unplugged الحمد لله This is by the way the city in which we met first time First Subhanallah. time ever Yeah, I think 15 years ago he yes. invited me. Yes. So it was 15 so years ago. And we, the three of us met together, uh, Brother Wail Ibrahim uh, and uh, Sheikh Dr. Muhammad Salah, myself, we met together um, for the first time in Hong Kong. And now we, in the Lady Farad Alayk al Quran al Arad al Quran al Quran al Quran brought us back, you know, mashallah. This is the first event uh, titled At the Peak, organized by Serving Islam team. after COVID-19, the first event after COVID, alhamdulillah. Yeah, more than three years ago. Uh, I believe that uh, everything was sold out completely. There are no uh, sp- uh, places left, uh, although there are so many people asking for And what I love most about uh, the event this year, besides the fact that alhamdulillah, we got to meet once again and visit the Muslim community here, the brothers who miss them so much, the title of the conference Heal in the Hearts so Heal in the Hearts, yeah. Heal in the hearts. it's an amazing title and each topic mashallah is going to be very very beneficial I mean. throughout my journey alhamdulillah I've been thinking about not only my topics your topics and alhamdulillah. mashallah alhamdulillah. if you can uh, brief us a little bit about your uh, it's actually you know, it's actually a very very beautiful uh, topic you know healing the hearts from the Quran the sunnah the lessons the Uh, real life situation scenarios one by one and so on so like from the quran the verses that allah almighty has revealed uh, that give man uh, such hope such goodness such teachings that would actually heal the heart ya ayyuhan nas qad ja'atkum maw'izatun mir rabbikum wa shifa'un lima fi suduri no o oh people uh, indeed a reminder has been sent to you by your lord and cure for that which is within the chest so there is cure in those verses subhanallah and the reason is a lot of people have been through struggles people lost lives meaning people lost family members and friends and so on and uh, life is a struggle uh, in and there's a lot of uncertainty you see the globe there has been earthquakes may allah grant them ease there have been floods there've been there's been unrest poverty poverty warfare and so much more that's happening and uh, where is man supposed to be people say well Allah is so merciful so why is this happening so mm. we need to answer those questions inshallah mm. true and, and you got to keep in mind that tests and trials are inevitable yes mm. i had someone uh, whether you're a believer or an unbeliever yes you yes. know allah says in, in the quran la tablawunna fi amwalikum wa anfusikum wa la tasma'unna min alladhina utu alkitaba min qablikum wa min alladhina ashraku adhan kathira وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ That is, uh, uh, I believe it is verse uh, number 186, chapter number 3, Surah Ali Imran. So Allah the Almighty stated the fact that tests and trials are in- inevitable. And being a believer, you're supposed to be tested more than, uh, you know, the non-believers. And those who are not, uh, uh, those who are righteous, are being exposed to tests and trials more in order to be purified and in order to raise their status and ranks before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, subhanallah. I'm really looking forward to the event. Uh, Habibi, how long did you travel to get to Hong Kong? Uh, uh, subhanallah, uh, the flight from Perth to Philippines, I was going on Philippine Airlines, Why got cancelled. I got cancelled. So we, st- we sat in the, in the airplane for five hours and then they told us sorry we can't take off there were some technical issues so we have to hours. yes and subhanallah uh, every every trip of hours we have to have something very weird that happens uh, knowing oh. knowing Sheikh Wail he must have said alhamdulillah mashallah <laughs> 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 alhamdulillah five hours okay yeah late six hours you know <laughs> my wife on the other hand was fighting with everybody to get on the next flight and the next flight was on Thursday so oh. uh, subhanallah alhamdulillah she, she spoke to the counter guys and They put us on a Singapore Airlines uh, Singapore. the same day. We arrived a bit uh, late in the night, and the next flight to Hong Kong was 
the next morning. So we slept at the airport, alhamdulillah. Allah. So it took us a while, but uh, finally we made it, alhamdulillah. Well, well, alhamdulillah. Well, alhamdulillah. May they, Allah accept you. They call him Sheikh Wail, so it took him a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, a long while. A long while. But you see, the thing is, I didn't know this, but we're just hearing it. But you see the challenges that are faced. People don't get to see this. I mean, look, look at what happened. Look at how now you've arrived in Hong Kong. Actually, I have been traveling to as many countries. I haven't even been home for a while. I've been Nigeria, went to Jordan, went to Malaysia, went to... What did you have in Jordan uh, as far as food? Well, uh, what did I have for food? <laughs> Mashallah, we had we had decent food. My, you, as you know, my daughter lives there, so Alhamdulillah. It's, uh, Did he eat mansaf? We ate mansaf twice. Yeah. Twice. Who, who, who cooks mansaf for you there? Well, well one of the time, uh, uh, twice. The first time, it was made by the, the this organization we went to visit in order to distribute container homes to the homeless and the refugees. Mashallah. And the people made mansaf for us. Excellent. And mashallah, we sat with them and we ate. It was beautiful. My beautiful. favorite food. Yeah. So mansaf is like a rice dish with some meat, and they have like a sour milk, you know, sort of a goat uh, milk. A, a leban. Yeah. This yeah. is different than jalof, by the way. Yeah. Oh, oh very, <laughs> very different. Don't, don't very start different. that. <laughs> so and then yeah, mashallah, it was good. We had fish one of the days. Excellent. We went to some restaurant that does fish in. Uh, so any in any projects you you worked on since we met last time? Many projects, alhamdulillah, as far as the university and the new subjects I'm teaching in. We were filming for Ramadan, as you know. Uh, we, we, we plan for Ramadan like six months in advance. So the Sahaba taught us. <laughs> so uh, we started filming. And alhamdulillah, we launched Fuda TV in Spanish and it was very, very well received. And the viewership is amazing, mashallah. The first uh, live uh, episode of Huda um, uh, in Spanish was just a couple months ago. It was amazing. Alhamdulillah. Shukrullah. So now we have officially Huda TV English and Spanish as well. Did you see the, the new AI generated uh, uh, translations where True. if you speak, your voice, your face, your movement, but a diff your voice also, but yeah. a different language completely. You, you, you can basically, they can speak the different language on your tongue as if you're the one who's speaking it fluently yes native any, any language so now, inshallah we'll try to speak and we'll choose an exotic language and we'll do a <laughs> unplugged inshallah. so spanish would include parts of south america as well yeah. as uh, spain most and, of uh, latin america yes. as well as spain we're talking about over 700 million uh, Spanish-speaking uh, uh, population worldwide. Wow! wow. Yeah, I mean it's huge, huge. Mashallah. Uh, I got to learn some Espanol, you know. Yeah, yeah, have the Espanol. As a matter of fact, in the states, uh, in many states, like in California, in Texas, and others, particularly in Texas, uh, when you apply for a job, you better have uh, Spanish not as a second language, as a first language. Wow. Yeah, mashallah. Yeah. And Mufti, what have you been working on? Oh, so much. In fact, with me, a lot of the time someone says, where are you Where are you going? Uh, it's going to be hard for me to answer because I have to think very hard to know I'm where good. I'm going. I just have to look at my camera. And wh where have you been? Oh, so much we've done that I lose track of it. But mashallah, we had the light upon light in the UK. We had, we had uh, so many events. We had programs in uh, Nigeria. And uh, mashallah, we just had. How was the jollof in Nigeria? Well, it was very nice. Mm -hmm. In all honesty, it was really nice. Uh, Nigerian jollof. Uh, and luckily, I had it in Nigeria, so I was. Uh, not in, in Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. And it was <laughs> nice, mashallah. Now the war will begin. So, so, <laughs> so, so the travels have been really hectic. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. In, in Jakarta, we met with uh, quite a few people actually, and we had a small uh, meet and greet sort of an event. Mm -hmm. So that was also quite nice. And then we came here. It's actually five whole hours from Jakarta to Hong Kong. It's, a, yeah. it's quite oh. a long flight. I was surprised. Yeah. What airlines here? Cathay. Cathay Pacific. Oh. For me, it was about 16 hours. 16 all hours. in all. All together. Yeah. No delays? But Alhamdulillah, there was no delays. As a matter of fact, I've arrived here 20 minutes earlier yeah, yeah. than it was scheduled. Uh, as you know, that last uh, trip to Malaysia, we were together. Uh, the flight arrived late to Qatar. So I was delayed, I was stranded at the airport for 24 hours. You know Habibi, uh, Dr. Muhammad Salah, when he arrived at the airport, and uh, he arrived after us, 
So our brother Anwar was, uh, there came a point where he said, no, let me send you guys. Uh, you guys can go and inshallah I'll bring Dr. Muhammad Salah. I said, no, 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 no. We will wait, Never. inshallah. Yeah. So we, we will wait for him. I launched my new book. Mashallah, Allah, 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 Allah. Halal humor on relationships. Oh, give us, uh, give so, us some, uh, some, some examples. Tips. So, so the, the idea is to address uh, haram relationship basically among the youth, okay. but in a in a funny manner so that it can be appeal appealing to them in a halal way. But the lesson, yes, but yeah. the lesson Bismillah. is there. Example. Inshallah, time. Give us some hints. No, there it's jokes. It's all know, scenarios made up like no, debate. Habibi, you have to get the book. Yeah, <laughs> you have to read the book, inshallah. <laughs> uh, we will discuss a few uh, points, inshallah, on the stage sometimes. Mm, I'm excited. During the discussion. In the it's time. called Halal Humor. Halal Humor on Relationships. On Relationships, inshallah. And also, inshallah, three of us will be meeting in uh, in Malaysia. Inshallah, in December. In, in December. In 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 right. inshallah. Yes, uh, in fact, we were with Brother Ammar. Yeah. He, yeah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. And he's coming tomorrow. Inshallah. He's oh, coming yeah, tomorrow. Inshallah. Inshallah. That's good. Mashallah. So, barakallah fikum. At the moment, uh, where are we going? <laughs> we're looking for Can a I place eat to some, eat. Uh, Turkish food, apparently. <laughs> we're, we're starving. Yeah, we yeah. Actually, we're going to an Italian halal. Oh, Italian, mashallah. Italian, no. Italian place. You change the plan? Yeah, alhamdulillah. You know yeah. what? There is. Here, uh, the plans change like this. Like <laughs> <laughs> change like the weather, actually. Yeah. So uh, I hope we find a place that is still open. Inshallah. No, no, inshallah oh, yeah. it will be. No, we got a person standing there holding it up. Oh, mashallah, inshallah. mashallah. The night here looks pretty. Yeah, the, the buildings are very uh, mm -hmm. nice yes, and so on. Mashallah. It's just going to be an abode a little humid. humid this time, inshallah. In the, inshallah. Actually, inshallah. very humid. At this time? Yes, a In, bit earlier. A bit earlier than this, so we're planning to go on a boat ride tomorrow. Perhaps we might... Inshallah. Uh, that, that would be the real unplugged. Yes, inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. So, inshallah, we, we, we just arrived in Hong Kong and we, you know, staggered arrival, but here we are uh, hunting for a place, inshallah, we're going to have a quick bite and then we call it a night. So, inshallah, inshallah, we look forward to seeing you guys again. We thought we'd give you a quick update of what's going on with our unplugged brothers. And barakallah feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.